So this time I wanted to show a lesser scene request, but one that I really think has a lot of value. Let's first show the problem. Let's suppose you have uh, a till at a restaurant, something like that, where you want your employees to be able to input specific information, but not be able to edit other parts of the sheet. So in that case, you would just use a protected range. If we come up here, we can just see the protected range. So I've protected B and C of this sheet so that the users can only put data into A. And then C in this case was really simple. It's just multiplying whatever's in A by whatever's in B. So really, really simple in this case, just to showcase what's going on. So the problem is if we go and make a copy of this, then we can see that there is no protection on this sheet. The only protection is still on the template sheet. That's what we want to overcome. We want to be able to copy the template and still keep those protected ranges. Otherwise, we're going to have to manually do that every time. Let me go ahead and delete this sheet. So the script in this case, I just called it copy with permissions. And here's what we're going to do. Blow that up a little bit. So like normal, get the active spreadsheet, put that in a variable. And I went ahead and set a variable for get sheet by name of just the template, which in this case is the only one, but as we make copies, there's going to be multiple and we always want it to go off of the template. The protections, this variable here, I got did get protections on the entire template sheet. And in this case, I know that I'm doing range protections. You can also do sheet protections if you've protected the sheet and you've allowed people to edit specific ranges. But in this case, we're doing range protections. Then we're going to create a new sheet. So SS, which is the template sheet, copy to. And the copy to function is really cool because while it can be used to copy from this spreadsheet to another spreadsheet, you can also use that to make a duplicate of the sheet on the same spreadsheet. And then just for ease of use, I went ahead and did a set name and I just want them to be numeric. So the first sheet that we copy is gonna be named one, the second one is gonna be named two. So to do that, I just did get all the full spreadsheet, get the number of sheets and minus one. Since when we create this sheet, it's gonna be two. I don't wanna be called two, I want it to be called one. And then I went ahead and declared a variable here, P, just so I don't have to do it inside the for loop and create it multiple times. For our for loop, we're just going to loop through everything in protections. What the protections is going to give us is an array of all of the protections. So I want to loop through all of the protections. And I want to get the same range on the new sheet that was protected on the template sheet. So to do that, we just call the array location that we're in, get the, of the protections, get the range, and then I'm just gonna do get a one notation. If we leave this part out, it will fail because get range in this case is going to call the specific sheet. And I want to be able to set that protection range on the new sheet. So we're going to do get a one notation and dot protect, remove all the editors, and then same as the other protections we did, set domain edits to false as well. So if I run this, it creates the copy, it sets it to one, and now we can see that B to C of one is also protected. And I can prove that. Uh, if I go ahead and share this, let's go ahead and make it so you can also see this. Sample editor. Open it up on my other account. So here's the template. Here I can change it to 50 but the protections are active. I cannot edit this. And then the new sheet as well. I can edit here. 
I cannot edit here. So that's how you use a script to copy a sheet and keep the protections. Basically, you copy it, record all the protections, and then reset all of the protections onto the new sheet.